Welcome to the Marvel Zombies Philippines Podcast. My name is Jimmy Cruz and I'm flying solo today since we're gonna talk about Lego. And with me today are two of the biggest Lego aficionados I know and they're brothers. We have Mr. Brian and Neil Gabaldon, or known as the Gabaldons in the Lego group here in Philippines. Hi. Hi. I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Neil. And so guys, uh, how, how did you get into Lego collecting? We'll start with, with you, Brian. Well, actually, the start of the Lego collecting was from Neil. Oh, so you were the, yeah. the first one. I saw actually Neil had bought this um, turbo tank of Star Wars. Uh, Attack of the Clones or Re Clone Wars? Uh, Clone Wars. Clone Wars, okay. Yeah. And then you yeah, got into Star Wars? No, no, I didn't. No, Star Wars, man, is too many. Okay. There are too many Star Wars sets. Well, I basically bought one power miner. It's like a drill. Okay. So and that's the thing that got you into yeah. Lego. So, Mr. Star Wars. <laughs> you... for, for me, actually, I started really with Star Wars. So, what got me first was... Uh, I remember that the boss of my sister, uh, he had her buy, buy them Star Wars sets back, way back in Hong Kong when we went there for vacation. So, the... so when I saw those sets... Okay. Uh, the Star Wars in me just went out as well. Okay, okay. But since Star Wars is also part of the Disney family, but we're gonna since this is a Marvel show, we're gonna talk about the the Marvel sets that we, we have on display now. But what so what, what was the first Marvel set that uh, you guys got? Uh, definitely the Deadpool set. So with, it's the one with Wolverine and, uh, and Magneto. Magneto yes. yes. So it's a chopper set. So. Basically, before when Marvel came out for the Lego, uh, it's one of the most, I don't know, uh, appealing sets. Was it part of the first wave of... Uh, yes. Uh, along with what? Uh, it's along with some Avengers set, so Captain America and some Chitauri. Ah, so it, it came along with the Avengers movie back yes. in 2012. Okay. What about you, Ryan? Well, first Marvel set. Technically, looking back, I think we can remember I also got that Deadpool set. Okay. A lot of people really like this Deadpool set because up to right now, we're already in 2016, there was only one Deadpool release ever since 2012. So with the law of supply and demand, how much is the Deadpool set? Is it the Deadpool set or, a Wolverine, or an X-Men set? It's technically called Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. So now it's called the Deadpool <laughs> set. They're te it's technically an X-Men set. Okay, yeah. But people looking at it say it's a Deadpool set. Okay, so shout out to Mr. Cyrus Fernandez, who is the Deadpool guy <laughs> of Lego. All right. Um, so me, my very first set was actually the I wanted an Iron Man uh, yeah, like yeah. minifig. Mm -hmm. So the cheapest one was it had a Hawkeye. Was it Loki's escape or one of yes, those? Yes, Loki's cosmic cube yeah, escape. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So it comes with a shield truck, yeah. pickup truck with Hawkeye, Hawkeye driving, and then it comes with this clear um, brick, which is yeah. supposed to represent the Tesseract. Yes. Yeah. So it is the first uh, Infinity Stone yes. in terms of the the Lego sets. What among all the stones, do they all have Lego bricks? Well, right now, I think they only have the Tesseract as well as the... So, Loki Ether. has a scepter. Ether. Did Loki have a scepter in the... Yes. yes. We actually brought one set here. It's a small diorama. Okay. As you can see here, we can actually see Loki carrying his scepter. Oh, so here. So, we have the, the Tesseract yes. and the scepter. All right. So, and in the Vision minifig, does, it, does he have the Mind Gem painted? Yes. Okay, so you have the Mind Gem. And then the orb? We yeah, have the ether uh, with the collector. Oh. The SDC so it's from the, the SDCC. Yes. And we're here, actually, I want to showcase my most prized Spider Man uh, <laughs> minifig. And it was given to me by Mr. C. B. Sabolski. So thank you very much, sir. Um, I'll never sell this uh, Lego minifig. It was actually the first one. Yeah. But it had pretty, it comes with the, the in, in tandem was the. Phoenix. Green Phoenix version of a uh, Jean Grey. Yes. Yeah. So there. What about the new sets? I I see you have the the latest Civil War set. 
and I saw what what article was that new? It was one of the ten sets grown men, grown men should, have. should have, and we have the superhero airport battle from Lego, and it comes with. Can you, maybe you wanna share with with everyone? Yeah. So you can see here, it it actually comes with a giant man. So way before the Civil War movie was actually uh, released in the uh, in the cinemas. So there was a picture of the Civil War set. Okay. And, and it spoiled everyone. It spoiled yeah. everyone because of, of this giant man figure. Yeah. yeah. So uh, thanks a lot, Len. But yeah, thanks a lot. Off podcast, we were talking about how come not all the Lego sets appear in appear in the movie. For example, Iron Man three, you you'd have um, those boats. Yeah. You know, Mandarin, which, uh, with, uh, with Killian, Killian, yeah. which never appeared in the movie. And you'll never see me coming. See, so, why, does, do you have any inside information on yeah. those? Uh, normally for uh, Lego sets, especially uh, in tandem with movies, yeah. uh, they normally give out uh, give Lego, uh, let's say, pre pre-production scenes, okay. uh, scripts on what's going to happen in the movie. So not necessarily that everything is con gonna come out in the movie. Yeah. So that's why some of the sets appear appear so random mm -hmm. from the movie itself. So the post production. What what can you say about the the, the superhero airport battle? It's set seven six zero five one, yeah. and it comes with giant man, um, an airport tower, Quinjet. Quinjet. And are there any exclusive figure or mini figures in the set? Yeah, uh, actually everything is exclusive except for Captain America, which also comes in with the previous Queen Jet set. Oh, uh, but so Winter Soldier is also a new figure here, if I'm not mistaken, which is different from the poly bag. Yes, it's different from the poly bag because of the mask, but it also comes with the Black Panther set. Oh. So if you want, I, I know I'm a big Sharon Carter fan. And yeah. You can get an Agent 13 minifigure in the superhero airport battle. But I'm okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a nice set. I'm just not into stickers. I hate stickers in Lego. I, I, I don't have the steadiest uh, hands and I'm very OC when it comes to stickers. Yeah. I'd rather I, I, I was hoping that the giant man would have it painted, Print, printed. Or printed on the on the on the bricks. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, for the giant, it's mostly stickers for the details. I saw, I yeah. saw. But it come. What I really like about this set is the Ant Man, the micro figure. Uh, yeah. There's actually a micro figure of the Ant Man. So uh, there, there's actually two included in the set. Yes. Two micro figures. Yes. Two micro figures. Uh, you can see it here, the picture. Uh, usually, cool. yeah. okay. usually for smaller items, yeah. Lego brings in two of the same model. Oh, because to prevent, uh, to prevent for the kids to lose the figure. small figure. Okay, okay. But we Which all know big. that this is a grown man set. Yeah, Which is yeah. Cool. <laughs> for all of us. <laughs> yes. So it's, it's a pretty cool set. Yeah. Really uh, Brian, what about you? Uh, what would you recommend to a newbie in who's, who wants to get into Lego? Into a Marvel set? Well, for me, I think my favorite set for Marvel is the Milano set. Oh, have you seen that, Jing? Yes, I've seen it. It's actually right here in the back, which I have to agree with you. So, why, why, why would you suggest? Um, is this first? Are you, are you selling this to me? No. no, no. So this is your. Okay. No, no, no. This is mine. Okay, okay. So why, why, why do you think um, people should get the Milano? Well, for me, this is actually a really unique set. Because this is the first Guardians of the Galaxy set. It includes the Star Lord, Drax, and Gamora, as well as Ronan and so, Nebula. So no group, no rocket. But no. I, I wanted to say that because for for the Marvel sets, or unlike the Star Wars sets, that you can keep the the X wing. You'd actually see it yeah. in in the movies, in the TV shows. Mm -hmm. It's just that the, so the Milano, it's something iconic, unlike. Um, the new um, Web Warrior set. Well, what am I going to do with the bridge? Yes. And Spider-Man doesn't have a lot of um, paint jobs like Iron Man. He yeah. have different armors. And I'm good with one Spidey. Spidey. And, and I'm waiting for a new set from Civil War. It comes with the MCU Spider. I, I, what, what's it called? Uh, I forgot. 
Tanker something. Okay, so we're going to show that clip, uh, the picture there. But I, I have to agree that if you're going to get into a, into a Marvel set that you'd like to keep and build, I would definitely recommend the Milano as well. And I should get it. So I, I have to look for one. How much is this in, in, in pesos? In pesos? Did it go up in value? Uh, I think around four or five to five thousand right now. Oh, so that's not bad. Not, not, not so bad, bad for yeah. an entry set. Yeah. But are you predicting since Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two is coming out next year? Yeah. What any anticipation on? I would what? say Lego would release another Milano, especially if they're gonna use Milano. And it comes okay. with a Howard the Duck minifigure. No. No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> we can just hope that the new Milano is better than this Milano. Okay. So, also, I, I, I wanted to get this set, and I see that you've brought it, uh, Neo. It's a new set. So, this was just released June 1, you told yes. me. So, it's called what? It's called Spider-Man Ghost Rider Team-Up. And it comes with... It comes with an all-new Ghost Rider minifigure. With a, is it the hell side? I forgot. The, I what think it's the Hell Cycle. The Hell yeah, Cycle. It's, it's a Hell Cycle. Rider. Yeah. And it's actually a pretty good um, set. You'd really want to get the... So I'm getting this not because of Spider-Man. I would because get it because of Ghost Rider and the Hobgoblin. Yeah. It's the Hobgoblin minifigure looks really amazing. It's actually new as well. So first released in this set. But there was another... Was there another Hobgoblin in those wacky... I forgot. For kids. Ah, uh, no, uh, they released a green oh, goblin. So this is the first Hobgoblin? This is the first Hobgoblin. This is the first Ghost Rider also? Yes. yes. And you said earlier that the, um, the head of the minifigure is, is a specific mold. Yes, yep. it's only one piece. So normally for any Lego minifigures, uh, the hair piece is uh, attached. Yeah. So this one, uh, Lego specifically made it into one piece. I, I think it's great. Yeah. I think it's really, really It cool. really suits him. But my only complaint is I hope that they change the, um, the Spidey minifig. I love yeah. Spidey. You, they should paint more of the red on the arms and put like his red boots. Because yeah. it looks like he's wearing his blue pajamas. Yes. Looks That's like my, only, my only complaint on the, on the Spidey minifig. So, we're going to talk about wish, wish sets. And did you see the new... I asked one of you guys if it was official or not. If the Doctor Strange... Doctor Strange. Sanctum Sanctorum battle, and you'd actually see Doctor Strange minifigure, you have Baron Mordo, Wong, and Shumagora. It looks like... It's not, it's, it looks, yeah, like, it looks, looks like, like, like Shumagora, but... I think that the nice part about the set is the window of the Sanctum Sanctorum, or the logo of Vishanti, yes, is yeah. actually a mold. Yeah. It looks like a mold. It doesn't look it like looks, a... It looks like a mold in the picture. So yeah. it's... I, I hope it's not a sticker. Yeah. Please. We hope it's not a sticker. Don't give us a sticker. Guys, um, it's about less than 45 days, and I'm going to Comic-Con. Yeah. And I'm, I, excited for I'm really excited for Comic-Con. Why? Um, I think half of the time there, I was just in the Lego line. Um, in the morning, they give out, ra there's this really, really long line, and there are two iPads placed in the line, at the end of the line, and you just have to tap the, the button, and if bad cop shows, no, no ticket, no Lego. you can't buy any Lego. If you oh. see good cop, then you, you get, buy the, yeah. So, I have an undefeated streak, I, I got both Marvel uh, sets, I, the, I have the... Uh, Throne of Ultron, um, San Diego Comic Con 20, 2015 exclusive, and my very very I, I would I would have cried if I didn't get this. This is actually the Foul Cap Secret Wars exclusive minifigure from San Diego last year, which I will not sell. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep it here now. <laughs> keep it away from you guys. No, but what do you think of these SDCC sets? Because you made your own Throne of Ultra and it, it looks fantastic. Thank you. The, so this is an MOC or a yeah. my own creation. creation. So how long did it take you to, to do this? Well, in preparation for this podcast, we just did it yesterday. No, no, no really. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Okay. 
and it looks amazing. So how Thank many you. did you? Where did you get the parts? Well, we mostly got the parts from the smaller sets of uh, Age of Ultron. Okay, okay. Which includes around three of these. Of the drones. Ultron drones. Yeah, but unfortunately, we don't have at the moment. But the throne, the, the gray bricks also came from some Ultron sets. No, we got that from other sets, which include like Castle, uh, Lord of Okay, Rings. okay. And the, even those fire and yeah. stuff also comes. Yep. But this one, I think you you gave the reference from the comic book. Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Personally, I was kind of disappointed with with the Marvel set. The distinguished competition's Lego set was actually more <laughs> awesome last year with Action Comics number one. And I also had that, uh, <laughs> and I'm not gonna sell it. Also, um, this year. What are you guys wishing or expect? What do you th what do you think that San Diego will have in store? Well, based on the movie, they just released Age of Ultron, and they released this set last year. Mm -hmm. I must, I'm anticipating they might release a Civil War. Which version. one? Okay. Well, what about you, uh, Neil? Uh, I'm hearing a lot of rumors about Baron Zemo uh, for the minifig. So instead of Sam Wilson, we'll be getting a Baron Zemo. For the comic book version. Oh. For the movie version, it might be a little bit generic. So it's a good thing if they're considering the comic book version. Baron Zemo. Did you like Zemo from the, the Civil War movie? Yeah. Uh, it's a different pace from the normal super villain that he wants to take over the world and everything. So if it comes with a minifigure, in the prop, I, I, I hope that Lego comes with a brick, a red brick with a black star, with the, the actual notebook. Yeah, yeah, that, that would, would be, be nice. Yeah. So, uh, Zemo uh, from his team, Echo Scorpion. So, let's see. Yeah. What about you, Brian? What do you think we will come up with? One more thing I've noticed about Marvel this year is they release a lot of Netflix series. So, it would be oh, really great if they release that one. Daredevil like minifig. Daredevil. Yeah. Is there a Kingpin minifigure already? Right, yeah. No, no, as well. So, there's no Daredevil, there's no Kingpin. Kingpin. What about Jessica Jones? There's no oh, Jessica there's Jones. Jessica but there's a Luke well. Cage. There's a Luke, Luke Cage from Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah. Yes. It's a cartoon version. But is there a Luke Cage it's a yellow shirt? No. no. Not, not, not yet. Ah. Interesting, right? Very, very interesting. But let's see. Maybe another Black Panther that has the T'Challa head. head. Yeah. yeah. Well, Alright, so before... So, wait. So before we, we end the show, with mini figs that you would like to see in a Lego set? I would like to see more X-Men mini figs. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yes, unfortunately. Yes. Unfortunately, unfortunately th there is a slight chance that won't really happen. You and Mr. Gerard Poe will get along yeah. if, uh, if you were here. Well, hopefully we could see a Fantastic Four. Not gonna happen also. <laughs> Not gonna happen also. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no thing. There's no thing mini for you. There's, there's no, no thing mini. No, no Johnny Star. No Johnny no. Star. But I've heard rumors oh. that Sony. There's actually a Doctor Doom mini figure. Which set was this? Uh, it's a Daily Bugle Showdown set. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, now it's a it's an Ultimate Spider-Man. Yes, it's an Ultimate Spider-Man. No, but now that you mentioned it, it's kind of sad that their Marvel's first family is not in a Lego set. Yes. They are not also very much in the comics either yeah. but since you mentioned the uh, my wish list and this you have to confirm is there a moon knight so far no no okay so with that the recommendation of the marvel zombies podcast comic book of the week is moon knight by jeff lemire and mr greg smallwood i know it you guys, we were talking, not so familiar with, with Moon Knight, yeah. Yeah. but it's on issue 3 now. And what's really, really interesting about this new Moon Knight is that Mark Spector was, um, had a deal with this Egyptian god called Khonshu that he would accept to be the fist of Khonshu becoming Moon Knight, uh, vigilante at night. So if I'm not mistaken, this was Marvel's answer to uh, a Batman in their own oh. universe. But he's white, that you can see him pitch black, you'll pitch see a black. guy see in the whole white. No, but the, the nice thing about the story is that Mark Spector is in an asylum. And the, Jeff Lemire, the writer, is somewhat seeing that all of, all of Moon Knight's adventures was just all in his head. Oh. 
So we don't know that was he really Moon Knight? Was Khan Chu really real? So he, he's in an asylum trying to escape. He's fighting all these mummies. The um, psychiatrist would be uh, different Egyptian gods also. And then when he tried to escape New York was this vast desert, just like the um, X-Men Apocalypse. Yeah. You'd imagine all the, the sand and it's bit it's dark. It's it, I I highly recommend it. The art of uh, um, you can follow him at, at Savage Smallwood. It's 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 cool. Um, it's the his style like is kind of like uh, Tommy Lee Edwards from the Mark Miller uh, Marvel 1985. Oh. Yeah, you have questions, sorry. Is this story similar to Shutter Island? I didn't see Shutter Island. I'm oh. sorry, <laughs> so I, I I cannot answer you. But if you like, just flat out good story. It's only on issue three. It's hard to find now, um, sure. but recommend Moon Knight. So guys, that's my wish. I wish there would be a Moon Knight minifigure. Mini figure. If you have a custom. So guys, thank you very much. Um, I appreciate you bringing the sets. Talk, and maybe you'd like to say hi to the LEGO community in the Philippines. Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> so they're kind of shy, but thank you. <laughs> so what's LEGO Starlight? Um, that keep on building. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Trick? I don't think they have a tagline. They don't have a tagline. I don't think they have a tagline. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. I think that it's just play well. Play well. Yeah. Oh. Well, Lego means play Lego well. Technically. Okay. Yeah. Play I just well. got schooled, guys. <laughs> so with that, the, this has been Jiggy uh, Cruz for my Marvel Zombies co-host Gerard Poa, Earl Makirang, Jeff Canoy, and Rick Olivares. So I hope you enjoyed this Lego episode So with uh, the Gabaldon brothers. So thank you and see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.